Hello dear student, this is uh, Professor Rajak Kumar and uh, I am working in the department of uh, mechanical engineering at uh, Dr. Subhash Technical Campus. So all of you uh, are welcome to my video lectures and this time uh, we are going to discuss a uh, very much important chapter and that is uh, chapter number 4. Uh, look at the title, uh, Special Mechanism and uh, the entire chapter that I have divided in three parts, part 1, part 2 and part 3 because of a little bit uh, uh, more content that uh, given as per the syllabus. So the video lecture will be divided in three parts. So uh, before starting and taking a uh, uh, few mechanisms to be discussed here in uh, special mechanism basically uh, uh, the uh, devices were say the machinery uh, which can made by uh, a special arrangement of various links in order to perform some specific work. So basically special mechanism uh, works on some specific uh, requirement uh, based on the motion transmission or the power transmission. So based on that, uh, uh, the, whatever the some extraordinary mechanism are to be designed for the specific purposes are all come under the category of uh, special mechanism. So let's start to discuss about uh, such uh, various and uh, tremendous amount uh, types of uh, special mechanism. And first and most important types of uh, the special mechanism that is a uh, pentogram. Basically, uh, all of us we have listened uh, any extent uh, that the pentograph uh, is used for uh, some specific work. Pentograph is ultimately very known term or uh, very known device uh, for everyone to us. Now, uh, basically, pentograph is a mechanical uh, device or say mechanism which is used to put uh, produce uh, path of an enlarge or reduced scale. That means. Uh, Suppose you require to enlarge uh, the profile of uh, any gear or say any mechanical link or even you, you require to reduce the profile of that particular uh, any machine component uh, then pentograph is used for that purposes. Uh, generally uh, pentograph uh, uh, consists of a uh, four bar uh, mechanism and uh, Generally, uh, it has a four bar kinematic chain basically and it consists of uh, the four links uh, which is joined in such a way that uh, it form like a parallelograms. So uh, it has four turning uh, pair uh, because we are using four bar kinematic chain. So of course, four bar kinematic chain has a four turning pair and uh, 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 link uh, should be arranged in such a way that uh, the last link uh, movement of that particular last link will be somewhat uh, 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 arranged in such a way that it, it produces more profile or large uh, profile of uh, any contour. Now by carefully looking this diagram uh, you can easily understand that uh, the four links that are being used is uh, look at uh, this is the link number one, link number two, link number three and of course link number four. So all such turning pair, why turning pair? Because uh, if you are giving any input motion to any uh, out of four links, uh, all link will uh, turn uh, with respect to some uh, fixed point or say but uh, we can say that uh, it will turn uh, around and about some particular fulcrum or fixed point. So basically it works look like a turning pair and uh, in that uh, way you can make an assembly and if you are giving little bit input motion to any particular uh, link as an input link uh, and it will magnify at the end uh, uh, output link will move uh, relative to other uh, link in more distance uh, uh, that means travel more distance as compared to the remaining link which are joined with uh, the entire mechanism. So in that way you can uh, have the enlarged uh, contour view or profile view and uh, on, on, on opposite side you can have also shorten the, that profile that you require to create by arranging uh, all that turning for in such a manner that the output link motion is very much less uh, as compared to the input motion or the, the displacement or the velocity travel by input link is very much high as compared to the end link that means output link so that in that way uh, the distance traveled by the output link uh, to draw the profile or contour of any mechanism or machine component will be, become very shorter. 
so this is the pantograph through which you can easily have the enlarged view of uh, the any profile of machine component or even you can also gain the reduced uh, view or the reduced uh, profile of any contour uh, of the machine component similarly second type of the special mechanism that we are uh, widely used that is uh, rage and escapement uh, mechanism Basically, ratchet is a set of teeth uh, which is called one wheel which allows the motion in one directional only. So if you are finding any gear wheel uh, on outer peripheral surface to which uh, teeth are cut in such a way that it allows uh, its meshing gear uh, to rotate in particular one direction only, it will be known as a ratchet. So look at that uh, diagram of ratchet. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, the uh, tooth are cut in such a profile that it will allow uh, any machine component or the devices uh, which are paired with uh, this uh, ratchet or the gear wheel it will allow to move in only in a unique or one directional so uh, such type of uh, the special uh, design uh, uh, gear wheel that will be known as a uh, ratchet generally uh, 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 escapement mechanism is uh, used to regulate the motion of uh, tooth wheel uh, uh, as per the requirement or the specific application. You can see that the nearby figure, uh, for example, uh, at, uh, you have seen this type of uh, ratchet and escapement mechanism special in uh, constructional site where uh, the building material need to lift up or lift down. At that time, uh, there is uh, some specific distance uh, that uh, the material should travel uh, either in upward direction or downward di direction. So in that way, uh, there is uh, there should be some regulation so that the material handling can be very easy and reach at the proper place. So if you are using a ratchet and escapement mechanism, as a ratchet uh, allows only uh, in one directional of rotation to uh, motion, so it will be very useful that uh, the, you can uh, have the handling uh, properly and uh, uh, you transfer the material uh, whenever uh, the places you require to place there. So this is a uh, ratch and escapement mechanism. Along with that, it is also used in locks, clocks, of course, uh, jets for the, we can say that uh, uh, lifting the load and some more application is also there where uh, rage and escapement mechanisms are widely used after that the third kind of uh, the special mechanism that is an uh, indexing mechanism and this mechanism you have already studied during your manufacturing subject indexing mechanism uh, it is generally used uh, whenever intermittent rotary motion is required for the uh, work operation uh, at that time, uh, the indexing mechanism is uh, required to be used. Uh, generally, uh, we can say that uh, 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 mechanism uh, generally uh, uh, also known as a Geneva mechanism, uh, which consists of a driving wheel and a pin which engages in a slot to the driven member too. So, uh, uh, the Geneva, Geneva mechanism, that means uh, an indexing mechanism contains uh, two basic parts, that is the locking plate one and there is the Geneva wheel. Uh, look at the Geneva wheel, uh, there is a four equal angular slot is in a cut uh, on the outer periphery of uh, uh, the Geneva wheel and uh, there is a central shaft on both of uh, which uh, the locking plates and Geneva wheel are mounted. There is also one uh, arm is provided in order to lock uh, the plate with that particular wheel. So this is the case uh, through which uh, you can use the uh, uh, this kind of uh, intermittent operation for the purpose of that uh, intermittent operation. You can have the application of uh, indexing mechanism. Uh, if uh, you are looking uh, right hand side of figure that is Geneva mechanism, it has four equal angular slots. In place of four, uh, you can also use a 16 uh, slot on the outer periphery of Geneva wheel. So if you are using four slot, uh, it uh, of course uh, uh, clear understanding from the numbers of slot that uh, uh, it gives uh, the partial operation that means uh, uh, within the 360 degree of rotation uh, it will give intermittent operation by four times that means uh, uh, within 360 degree of rotation you can uh, operate uh, and uh, 
uh, we can say that the complete the operation uh, intermittently uh, by four times if you uh, uh, the numbers of slot are increasing by 16 or 10 or 12 or whatsoever uh, so accordingly you can have the numbers of intermittent operation possibility uh, as per the numbers of slot that you have given on uh, Geneva wheel outer peripheral surfaces after that uh, the four type of very specific and special mechanism that is swinging or uh, rocking uh, mechanisms uh, look at the diagram basically the swinging or rocking uh, mechanisms are also known as oscillator and it is uh, specially used to convert rotary motion into oscillatory mo uh, motion and but uh, specially in this mechanism the output links or the element uh, swing or rocks or oscillate through an angle less than 360 degree and a uh, 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 particular example or we can say that the typical exa example of such type of uh, swinging and uh, uh, rocking mechanism you are finding in case of uh, uh, SAP machine uh, which is uh, being used for the uh, workshop operations. So uh, the, the, the mechanism that is being used in separate machine is the kind of swinging or uh, rocking mechanism. Uh, this all that uh, type of machinery in which uh, specially swinging or uh, rocking mechanisms are uh, being used there is a specific purpose why it is used over there uh, we know that in case of safer machine uh, uh, we require uh, a very uh, fast uh, stroke during return stroke so return period we don't require uh, any kind of machining operation on workpiece so uh, the idle time uh, that we require to have the very uh, less uh, duration and for that uh, for in order to have the uh, cutting operation um, uh, very fast and returning operation uh, cutting operation very slow and returning operation very fast we should to use spinning or rocking mechanism Similarly, same type of mechanism you can also find in the cam and follower or uh, some other machinery too. After that, uh, topic number five that is uh, an equivalent linkage of mechanism. Uh, sometimes uh, in specific mechanism, the shape of the links and connection between the links is uh, such like that the actual function or motion cannot be identified by uh, a very uh, short period of time so in such a si situation it is convenient to replace some pairs like a sliding pairs or higher pairs uh, and it uh, may be possible that you can convert that sliding and higher pair into turning pair uh, without changing the degree of freedom of any mechanism so if you are doing so the uh, entire mechanism are generally known as a kinematically equivalent of mechanism uh, because uh, it is very necessary to identify each and every time uh, the motion characteristic of uh, every link and uh, in some complicated uh, mechanism identification of actual function and motion is very difficult so in order to uh, identify exactly and precisely just you have to convert the whatever the sliding motion and oscillating motion are there into uh, we can say that uh, the uh, turning pair so uh, this is the basic concept uh, uh, behind equivalent uh, linkage of mechanism but prime condition is that while uh, converting this uh, motion that means sliding to turning uh, motion or turning pair the uh, uh, prime uh, consideration should be like that uh, the degree of freedom uh, should be not changed so whatever the initially mechanism has numbers of degree of freedom exactly it should be same uh, whenever you are uh, uh, applying a turning pair uh, or uh, converting the entire mechanism for the ident easily identification uh, of uh, the function and motion. So one common example in that particular uh, equivalent uh, turning uh, pair and that is look at the diagram turning pair in place of sliding pair that means over here in this mechanism sliding uh, pair is replaced uh, by turning pair and ultimately uh, look at the uh, both of the diagram and compare that over here uh, initially the mechanism has a sliding pair but uh, uh, by concept of uh, we can say that equivalent uh, linkage of mechanism uh, we have replacing uh, we are replacing uh, that uh, sliding pair and introducing uh, uh, we can say that the turning pair over here so over here up at the point c about uh, point c around that point c uh, link three and four are turned so we can say that we have introduced turning pair 
uh, at point C and we have totally removed the sliding pair that was present initially at point uh, C. So by do, uh, doing so you can uh, easily see that there will be nothing uh, change like uh, degree, numbers of degree of freedom by doing so. So this is uh, the kinematically equivalent system and uh, of course initially it was 4 bar chain mechanism after converting it is also still 4 bar chain mechanism. Second uh, option that uh, you can have also equivalency by replacing uh, a higher pair by turning pair again. Look at the diagram. In this diagram, uh, uh, there is a higher pair you have given uh, in left hand side diagram. So, especially in order to maintain the numbers of degree of freedom of that uh, given mechanism, one higher pair uh, is replaced by two turning pair by uh, adding two extra additional link in this case. So, over here, this is uh, we can say that anyhow we have to replace higher pair. So, in order to maintain the numbers of degree of freedom, uh, we are adding uh, two additional link over here. That is uh, additional link we have added, and uh, in that way, uh, what we have done, we have replaced uh, higher pair, and uh, we are introducing two turning pair, uh, uh, so that uh, the degree of freedom uh, will uh, uh, remain same. There will be no any kind of changing before and after uh, converting this entire mechanism. So ultimately, if you are doing so, uh, your uh, the entire mechanism will be very become very simple, and it's very easy to identify the motion and velocity characteristic of each and every link at uh, any time. Uh, third, uh, the option that uh, still you have uh, for the equivalency of linkage is the turning pair in place of spring. Uh, many a times we have seen that, uh, uh, for example, uh, numbers of uh, uh, mechanisms uh, are such uh, that in which specially for introducing external pressure was a pro uh, force constantly on the machine link, uh, we are using spring. For example, cam and follower. So, uh, uh, over here, uh, uh, this theory highlight about the replacing of that spring uh, and uh, introducing the turning pair in that case. So over here, if you are required to replace totally this spring, you have to ultimately uh, add two links uh, and which is by joining by the turning pair. Uh, so this is, uh, look at the right hand side diagram, uh, we have introduced two uh, link, link number 5 and link number 6 and both of together uh, work as a turning pair uh, in a common fulcrum. So in that way, uh, spring is replaced by uh, uh, introducing two links uh, which has the turning pair uh, turning pair and uh, one more thing spring uh, is not considered here in as a link but it acts uh, action are to be considered and replaced so uh, this is also uh, very much important criteria while you are uh, converting turning pair you are ad adding turning pair in place of spring that spring is not any kind of uh, the link that uh, uh, we should to consider but it's action like uh, pressure or the force or even velocity and uh, acceleration we should to consider that uh, physical property and we are replacing by adding two additional uh, link after that uh, there is a little bit different uh, mechanism we are going to discuss and that is a straight line uh, generating mechanism Basically, its uh, name gives the function of it and uh, this type of mechanism uh, generally generates the straight line and in which basically one point always moves in straight line path so it generates uh, required straight line. Basically, this type of mechanism are classified in two prime category. Uh, one is exact straight line generating mechanism and uh, secondly is approximate uh, straight line generating mechanism. So starting with the exact uh, straight line mechanism uh, that are being used for the gener generating the straight line uh, contour or we can say that the straight line of uh, uh, path. So uh, look at the diagram, actually it is the exact straight line generating mechanism and uh, to understand clearly how a straight line is uh, generating by using exact uh, straight line mechanism, generating mechanism. Just you have to consider uh, 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 two triangle, triangle OFT as well as the triangle OBQ. 
Now both of the triangles have the geometrical relationship. Uh, take the ratio of uh, OA upon OP and of course it will be the uh, always equal to the ratio of other triangle uh, like OQ upon OP. So from that relation uh, you can have the OA into OB and that is equal to OP upon OQ. So ultimately uh, the relation finds uh, that the OQ is equal to OA into OB uh, entirely uh, divided by uh, the link OP. But uh, if you are looking uh, uh, figure then we can say that OP and uh, OQ that is the constant. So we can say that if OP and uh, OQ that is the geometrical parameter it will remain constant. So of course uh, we can say that OA and OB uh, it will be also remain constant like that. So ultimately we can say that uh, if OP is constant then of course OQ is also constant that means if OP is constant uh, of course uh, OQ is definitely a constant. So we can say that whenever uh, you are uh, uh, using any uh, mechanism uh, or we can say that whenever you are using a straight line generating mechanism and uh, you are analyzing motion uh, you required straight line uh, to be generated so in that way as you move you will have the straight line profile of a required link so this is what about uh, specific very specific actually uh, mechanism through which uh, we are getting required output like straight line contour profile and black profile shorten profile and numbers of uh, the requirement uh, that can be uh, easily fulfilled by uh, uh, using that special mechanism. Uh, still, uh, uh, there are numbers of specific and very special mechanism are uh, remain to discuss. But uh, as per the limitation of syllabus content, we are discussing only uh, uh, about the few uh, specific mechanism. Uh, thank you very much for uh, your kind of attendance to my video lecture. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much.